Hey people, I'm Max the Barber. I work here in New York City. I'm riding the train again, because my car got repoled two weeks ago. I promised Al's millions that I would share my story with you. You see, I suffered from Broke Barber Syndrome. Broke Barber Syndrome is a condition where no matter how much money a barber makes, he still ends up broke. I have been cutting hair for 15 years, and I was also guilty of this behavior. Back in the 90s, money and customers seemed to be plentiful. Clients would get a haircut twice a week. $200 to $300 a day was nothing to make back then, even for the mediocre barbers in the shop. So you ask, how could we be broke when everyone was making money? Well, because everyone was spending money too. From clothes to strippers, that was the barber's vice. Street merchants lived in the barber shop because they knew we would buy whatever they had. We thought we had money to throw away. We brought jewelry, expensive liquor, rims and tires, all kinds of gadgets and made it rain at the strip club. That was the way for many barbers, and that's the thing that kept us broke too. We looked like we had money, we had the bling bling and the nice wheels, but for the most part, we were broke. We had a few dollars for a change and to get some chicken wings and Chinese rice, but we had nothing beyond that. We had no money. We had nothing in the bank, our credit was bad, we didn't own any real estate and just could pay our rents. Sad isn't it? Well, that's the way it was in the 90s, and that's the way it is now. The broke barber syndrome is alive and well. Brothers are still spending like crazy and putting nothing away for a rainy day. We wanted to open shops and didn't even have $1,000 to get it going. A barber must be smart with his money. He must learn to put money away and not feel like he or she has to buy or participate in everything that comes up. I remember this barber's wife coming to the shop to get the money from him at about 4 o'clock every single day, so he wouldn't spend it. We used to laugh and joke him about it. But I guess he realized that this is what he had to do, if he was going to have anything. One day, I figured out that I was spending $300 to $400 a week just messing around. I blew almost $15,000 eating and buying stuff I didn't even need, in one year. That's crazy. You could open a decent shop with 15 grand. Fortunately, I woke up, before it was too late, but how many barbers never wake up? How many barbers spend everything having a good time? Never getting their acts together. Please, don't let this happen to you. I'm on the right track now. Abmum has been a great help to me. It has given me the confidence to do what I have been wanting to do for so long. And that's to build an awesome clientele. Take it from a guy that knows, it's best to do business right. To all my family. Peace.